Hi, my name is Andre. I'm from JFlux Support. And this short video, I will show you how to configure a Docker client to work with insecure Docker registry. So let's start. First, let's configure that uh, Docker installed. As you can see, I got this version of Docker installed. And now I will show you the HTTP settings under the session mode on factory. Uh, the docker access method is repository path. Here you can uh, see examples of how to pull, push, and log in to this artifactory instance with the uh, docker client. Uh, here, is a configure, uh, here I configure the public server name and it, it's called rdocker.com. Uh, I will use this uh, server name uh, to log in with uh, the docker client in the following example. So uh, what we need to configure in order to uh, use Docker client to, and work with insecure registry, we need to go to the etc Docker. Uh, here I have a pre-configured uh, daemon JSON. If you don't have uh, this file, uh, you need to create it. And uh, let me show you this and uh, configure the insecure registry with the server name uh, that configured on the artifactory side, the public server name, rdocker.com. You need to configure it on the uh, machine you want to access the artifactory and connect the client in the, the Docker client to work in a secure uh, Docker registry. So and now what I'm going to do, after configure this file, you need to restart the reload the daemon of Docker and restart Docker as well. I will perform the systemctl daemon reload and as well the systemctl restart Docker. And after uh, configuring uh, the insecure registry I want to access, in the, our case, it's the our Docker uh, server name of my artifactory instance. Uh, I restarted the uh, daemon uh, and also the Docker. Uh, now I want to check if uh, this configuration is working. I uh, First, I will configure it by uh, executing the Docker info command. As you can see, under uh, insecure registries, I have uh, my artifactory instance that called rdocker.com, and now I'm ready to go. So I can uh, log into it instance. Uh, here we have an example of how to log in. I was the Docker login. Uh, Will uh, use my admin user. Right. Okay. Um, now writing my password, and as you can see, I log in successfully. I configure the Docker client to work with insecure registry. I will uh, just test by uh, Docker pull world. As you can see, I pulled the, the, the image successfully. In this example, we will uh, configure Docker to work with its secure Docker registry uh, using the subdomain method. As you can see, here's the HTTP settings screen on the factory. Here, configure the Docker access method the subdomain. And I will use this public server name uh, to log into Altifactory. Uh, the rdocker.com is the, the same as the previous example. Uh, so uh, I've checked already that uh, I have Docker installed uh, successfully. I can, you can see the, the version here. So uh, as previously, we will uh, create or modify the, the docker daemon file that uh, Locating the etc Docker, and let me see. Yep. 
uh, we need to configure the security registry in the daemon.json file to get it in the etc docker. Uh, as I'm using the subdomain method, I need to give uh, Docker the uh, repository name that I want to access on the factory. On the factory, I have a, a virtual Docker repository that aggregates uh, local and uh, remote Docker repositories. So in the subdomain, I need to configure this uh, uh, specific repository uh, before the server, the public server name. So it will be docker uh, docker uh, dot art uh, docker dot com so it's the part of is uh, the server name so as previously we will need to restart uh, the daemon and the docker client to take effect Now, uh, let's check that uh, the secure Docker registry is added successfully by executing the Docker info command. As you can see, uh, the insecure registries list uh, uh, as, as a new entry that the Docker art, uh, uh, the Docker dot art Docker dot com. So now we, we can try uh, login. Let's log into it, Docker login. My admin uh, user, docker.art, docker.com. And as you can see, I successfully logged in with the subdomain method was used. That was my video of how to configure a Docker client to work with the insecure Docker registry in the repository path and the subdomain path. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed. Feel free to leave your comments, feedback, or questions in the comment section below.